Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Are you still unable to understand the difference between a step into, a step over and a step out? You know these are the steps of debugging. If you want to debug your project and you are still unable to understand the difference between these options, this is a step into, a step over and a step out, then this video is for you. So watch this video till the end and then you will you will able to understand all these things. So here you can see you know I have designed this process to explain these you know debugging steps so here what I'm uh, you know I'm doing I have taken you know one right line activity inside this sequence and there is one right line for the just to write something you know UI demo automation and then one invoke workflow it will log in into UI demo and then I'm taking one se sequence and inside this I have just taken one right line activity to use the right line you know to write the output and then I am using one more invoke workflow file to get the data transaction data and then I am using one more right line and then one more invoke workflow to process that data in the UI demo and then one right line activity and then close application so close application means inside this sequence I have taken one close application activity and one right line activity so let's just start now so first I'm going to tell you about the step into. So step into is used when you want to analyze your activities. You want to examine your activities closely step by step. It means one by one if you want to analyze, you want to you know observe that activity that it has an error or not or it's working fine or not. So you know in that scenario we can use a step into. When this section is triggered, the debugger op opens the container. Container, you know about that. Like, you know, it can be a you know invoke workflow file activity. It can it can be a you know uh, any s workflow flowchart sequences. Or, you know, like that. So it will highlight each activities and then it will open container and it will debug. It will you know activate one by one each activity. When step into is used with the invoke workflow file activity the workflow is opened in a new tab in the read only mode so whenever you will use this step into uh, and if it is going to debug the invoke workflow file activity then what will happen first it will highlight that and it will open that workflow in a different window in sorry in a different tab and that will be logged for editing and then each activity inside that workflow will be executed one by one if you want to access this step into using shortcut then the shortcut key is F11 so now let me show you guys practically here so let's say first to understand this I'm going to debug this so here to debug this that I'm going to first click on this right line and put here one break line break point and now just click here debug so you know what will happen automatically once you will start the debug it will come and it will pause the execution here and then after that I will show you step into option so you can see here now now let me click on this step into you can press F11 or click on this so you'll see one by one it will go and now you can see once I will you know once I pressed here it opened that workflow in the read only mode and it will highlight each and every activities so you know sequence is also one activity and these are also one activity so you will see here step by step now it will open that UI demo application and then in the do section so you know do section is also one type sequence and then type into right line and then get in the password and type the password there okay so you see here one by one and then we are going to activate the another one that is getting the transaction log so it is going one by one in each and every containers and each and every sequences so you can see it has opened two you know workflow in a new tab and then it is getting the transaction data and then now it is going to process the UI demo 
So in this UI demo processing part, what I have done, I have taken attach window and then I'm clicking on this withdrawal here. So you'll see it will go and click on this withdrawal. and then you know one by one it will enter these values so here in the check-in what I'm you know I have done I, I, you know we are I'm getting the transition data from that that another workflow and then here so now you can see it has you know clicked on withdrawal and it put check one check two and now it will go to the last that is close application it will close this application now you can see the UI demo application has been now closed and now this is done right so this is a step into so it debugs the activities step by step right now the another is step over so this is also important step over debugs the activity and containers such as flowchart sequences or invoke workflow file activities without opening them it means it will not open any of this container it will not open any you know invoke workflow file activity like you have seen in the step into it opens that invoke workflow file activity that workflow in a different tab in the read only mode but here it will not open that directly it will complete whatever activity used inside that that workflow like in that container and the shortcut key to use this F10 so let me show that so again let me just click on debug it will come and stop here in the right line activity because here we have used a breakpoint and now you can see I'm going to click on step over so step over it will after this it will come here and without opening this you know in the new tab let me first close this so without opening this all these steps used inside this that will be triggered automatically it means once it, it will highlight this and it will automatically open the UI demo and then log into that you can see I'm going to click on this step over and then one more time so it will just complete all these activities used inside that workflow without opening it so you can see here right now it is going to the next activity and you can see one more time I'm going to click on this so here you can see I have taken this it is sequence and sequence is also like you know one container and inside this I have used one you know log right line activity click on this so all these activities used in that get right log will be triggered so you can see here once I will click on this that is done so getting transaction that is the log inside this now again we have invoke workflow file so it will complete all these things now it is, it is going to the right line activity again this one now after that it will go to the right line activity so it has processed everything right you have seen and one more thing here if you are getting any of the error then you will it will throw an error it means if it is working fine debug means we are, we are checking that activity has an error or not if it has any exception that will throw an error so now step over again so that will complete the steps written in this uh, used in this it means automatically it will close that it will not open that container you can see the application has been closed and now once we'll click on step over the main container that we have used here that is automate UI demo it you know comes to that now done right now the third is that is step out so step out is used for stepping out and pausing the execution at the level of the current container step out completes the execution of the activities in the current container before pausing the debugging and you can use the shortcut key shift F11 so here you'll see first time like I have used this right line so once I'll click on debug it will come and stop here right it will pause here and then once I'll click on step out 
it will complete all these steps used inside that main container it means the current container it will complete everything it will not highlight even you know but let me click on this highlight it here, here and let me show you that so directly once it will complete that it will come to the main container but if it has error you will also see that so let me now click on debug so that we can see that huge of step out right now just click on step out and you see we have used highlights it is showing that is it is you know working on that it is now going to click on withdrawal so you have seen here in our in our you know UI pass studio it is not highlighting any of these activities it is not highlighting any of this you know sequences or invoke workflow file activity but yeah it is completing all this process it is just you know debugging all these activities used inside that container inside this invoke workflow file right and now uh, once it is done it will directly come to the main container current container and then like you can click on a step out so it will just finish the debugging so I hope you are able to understand that step into step over and step out so a step into it will debug the your activities or sequences or containers one by one step by step after opening each containers or like after opening each workflow in a read only mode step over so step over does not open any container you know it debugs those activities which is designed or which is used inside that invoke workflow file or inside that sequences so without opening it debugs that third that is a step out so a step out is used to you know debug the complete sequences complete activities without highlighting those also and without you know opening those containers and without debugging a step by step so directly it completes everything and comes to the main container the current container so current container is this so I hope you like this video and I, I hope it will clear your doubt regarding this a step into a step over and a step out so please do like and subscribe if you have not subscribed please subscribe thank you so much guys thank you for watching this video and thank you for your all the support thanks